All right, so this is gonna be a quick tutorial on how to run Instagram story ads, how to run an ad and get it to show up in people's stories when they're on Instagram. But you don't wanna put your ad in front of just people, you wanna put your ad in front of the right people and we'll talk a little bit more about that. Sorry if you've already watched some of my other Instagram ads videos, you'll have heard me say this, but do not use the blue promote button inside of your Instagram account to run your Instagram ads. What you want to do is use Facebook ads to run your ads because Instagram is inside of Facebook ads now. So what you wanna do is run Facebook ads and you wanna run your ads from inside of what's called the Facebook ads manager. So this is the Facebook ads manager right here and how this works when you run an ad is you set up a campaign and then inside of that campaign you have ad sets which is where you choose things like who you're going to put your ad in front of, what their age is going to be, and where your ad's going to be. So we're going to choose, that's where we're going to choose Instagram story ad placement. And then inside of your ad sets you have ads and the ads is the creative, the video or the image, the copy that you're putting with it, a link if you're linking to something, that's the ad. And so first we need to set up a campaign. And so click this green button right here to start a campaign. And that'll bring you to this page where you need to select a campaign type. Now if you hover over this I right here and if you click learn more, it'll tell you more about each one of these campaign types. And I would also recommend because multiple campaign types can possibly work for whatever you're trying to accomplish. So uh, it might be worth testing one campaign against another like create one campaign, run it, create another campaign, run it, and then see which one performs better, which campaign type. If you do that, that's called A-B testing. And for more on this, watch this video right here on split testing, A-B testing your ads. But if you do that, the only thing out of all of it, out of the ad set, out of the ad, the only thing you wanna change is the campaign type. Keep everything else the same because then you'll know if one starts to perform better than the other that it's the campaign type and not something else that you changed. And that's called A-B testing. So let's say in this case, if we hover over reach right here, it says show your ad to the maximum number of people. So let's say that's what we're trying to do right now. If you were trying to do things like send people to your website, you'd want to use uh, probably traffic or conversions. If you're trying to use Instagram story ads to collect leads for your business, whether that's an email, a phone number, an address, whatever it may be, you could use this lead generation campaign type right here. If you're selling something on a website, I would highly recommend that you use conversions. You could use traffic, but what conversions is gonna allow you to do is track based off of each ad set and campaign, but you can track down to the ad set uh, if the ad set, ad set is converting, meaning if it's actually leading to someone clicking to your website and making a purchase, and it'll give you other data like how profitable was that or not profitable was that for you, all that sorts of stuff. So anyways, for this example, I'll leave that to you and check out just all my other Facebook ads, Instagram ads videos. There's really good information throughout all of them. But I'll leave you to figure out um, you know, from here, which market, which campaign type you need to choose, but let's just use reach for example. And then you're gonna get options right here to create A-B tests, I just talked about that. And then campaign budget optimization. Campaign budget optimization, if you, if you turn that on, whatever budget you give to the campaign, it's gonna disperse that budget across your ad sets, but not necessarily evenly, it's going to distribute to the ad sets that it thinks are or will perform the best. So if you don't want to do that, if you want to have control over each ad set to make sure that each ad set is thoroughly tested, each ad set does get budget because if you do campaign budget optimization, sometimes some ad sets just won't get budget and won't get tested. So, But especially if you're brand new, I mean, campaign budget optimization, I guess, is easier, but I would, I guess, take the more difficult route just because you can learn more. If you don't do budget optimization right now, just learn to set uh, budgets at the ad set levels and test ad sets. And then as you kind of have learned to do that, then it's easy to, easy to just turn on campaign budget optimization and see how, how it disperses the money across your ad sets from there. Anyways, let's continue. Okay, now we get to this section here, which is the ad set. If we look over here in the ad column, it's showing campaign, the ad account. This is like a dummy ad account I'm working from just to show you this example. So that's why it's like create new account. Uh, it shows it as a new account. But then you've got the ad set section, which is what we're in right now and then next we have to add. So uh, make sure you have the right Facebook page selected. You do need to have a Facebook page set up and connected to your Instagram account in order to run Instagram ads. And then come down here and audience section. This is where we can choose things like 
location, age, gender, and then detailed targeting. Talk a little bit more about that in a second. Languages, and then custom audiences as a whole amazing part of Facebook advertising. Not gonna get into that into this video, but I have videos on creating custom audiences and lookalike audiences, which is maybe the most powerful Facebook ads tool, but check out other videos for that. We'll come back to the, this section in just a second. I wanna show you the placement section. It's gonna give you two options initially, automatic or manual. Automatic, Facebook's just gonna choose where your ad gets shown. Now, probably don't do that, especially if you wanna run just Instagram story ads, cause there's a lot of different places Facebook can show your ads. So let's click on manual placements. And first we'll see right here, it says, uh, it gives us the different platforms to choose from. There's Facebook, Audience Network, Instagram, and Messenger. And if we scroll down right here, we'll see that each one of those, like there's also a bunch of different options. So what we wanna do, cause we just wanna run, run Instagram story ads right now, we can click off Facebook, Audience Network, Messenger's already off. So we've got Instagram selected, but now it's still gonna have Instagram feed selected, Instagram explore selected. So we'll wanna click those off and we want just Instagram stories right there to be selected and take a look at it instagram stories is now the only one selected so that's how we choose to show our ads in only instagram stories but now in whose instagram stories we'll come back to budget and schedule in just a second but now let's touch on audience so let me pick something super random here uh let's say i'm selling sunflower seeds okay so uh, oh, let's do this i could do Detailed targeting, let's, let's open this up. This is where we can choose people based off of, as it says right here, interests, behaviors. Play around in here, lots of fun. Just type in all sorts of stuff, see what comes up, see what the audience sizes are, have some fun here. But if I come here and I type in sunflower seeds, it gives me this option right here, sunflower seed with an audience size of 2.6 million people. So if I click that, and watch on the right over here how this uh, meter and audience size changes. Now that's 88,000 people because I've got the location set to United States right now. And so let's say age, if you wanna set a certain age, you can do that. So if I go like 27 to 45 year olds, now audience size changes again. All languages, let's switch that to English. And then let's switch all genders to men. So there's 15,000 people. Okay, so as it sits right now, I'd be targeting all 27 to 45 year old men that l like sunflower seeds in their Instagram stories. Now let's say I wanted to make my targeting even more specific. Let's say I wanted to target people that liked a certain baseball team because then my ad creative could be based around just that baseball team and I could work in selling sunflower seeds and I can target people with the baseball team that they like or something like that. So I could go narrow audience and let's just say Yankees. And right there, New York Yankees, 10 million audience. If I give that a click, now that narrowed the audience potentially a little bit too much. It's saying the audience is too specific for ads to be shown, but I've ran ads where it's told me that before and they've performed well. So you may just wanna run the ad, but let's say I don't wanna do that. So what I could do is I'm, if I click uh, gender, let's switch that back to all 2200. So there's a little more people. And then let's open the age range back up. Let's go 18 to 65 plus again. Okay, so now we're at 4,000 and the meter is a little happier with us right here. So that's kind of how that stuff works. Really cool, play around, do a lot of testing. That's a huge part of Facebook ads is just, the more you run ads, like the more you'll see and understand and just be able to get better at it. Last thing in this section is budget and schedule. Um, I, this question is, and I completely understand why, but oftentimes, like how much should I spend for how long? There is no right answer to that necessarily when it comes to Facebook ads. And that's part of why Facebook ads is so cool because you could spend literally $1 or you could spend $1 million. And you can do that in one day, you could do that in two hours, or you could do that across three months. Like it's really just up to you and how like your budget, how aggressive you wanna be, how quickly you want stuff to happen. I think oftentimes people think like their ad needs to run for three days or a week or a month, but that's just not necessarily true. You can just run the ad, the ad gets in people's feeds, they see it and that can all happen in just a matter of hours. So it's up to you. The only thing I would say is it is really cool that you can 
put a daily budget of a dollar or three dollars and test really small test with really small amounts of money but also you can quickly create a problem for yourself if you're not giving enough money to the ad to actually reach enough people and get enough data back to see how it's performing so enough said about budget if you're new to budgeting um, bid control just probably don't fill that in once you kind of understand pricing and stuff maybe you can come back in here and mess with that but right here you got a daily budget or a lifetime budget if you choose lifetime you'll have to give it a start and an end date daily budget you can still give it a start and end date but you can also just run it continuously and it'll just keep going until you come back in here and turn it off so let's say I wanted to spend three hundred fifty dollars and I just wanted it to run continuously and I'll come back in two days and turn it off a good reason to set a start and end date is you know what if something happens and I don't make it back in two days to turn it off then I it would continue to spend three hundred fifty dollars a day so there's that to think about alright I'm gonna click continue and now we are in the ad section and this is where we do the creative the whether it's a video an image all the all our copywriting we're gonna do with it and there's some specifics here that I want to talk about for story ads so uh, make sure right here in the identity section you've got the Facebook page and Instagram selected that you want to be using and then right here under format you can choose carousel or single image or video if I click carousel you'll see down here it changes and it'll by default give you three different carousels and if you want to add more you can just click plus and add more over here it'll give you a preview as you go about adding stuff just to keep this simple I'm just gonna go single image and one thing that's gonna be important when it comes to your story ads is the format because uh, story ads are taller and skinnier if it's like a regular feed post that's more of a just a square and so if you're taking just um, one of your posts which you can do if you click right here this use existing post option but if you were to take one of your feed posts that's a square and use it in your story then it'll be the square inside of your story and won't take up the full length of the story screen so you just want to think about that and how you want to ha have it show up if it matters how it shows up and then if it does how you want it to show up if you want it to take up the full screen all that sorts of stuff so think about that and right here it kind of breaks that down uh, the different dimensions that you'd need for however you want to set that up right here in this text and links section in this case links I'm not going to worry about because I'm not you know we, it's just a reach campaign I just want to get this into in front of as many people as possible and let's just say I want them to click to my profile and hopefully follow me so it really it's just get as many followers as possible exposure and followers um, so links don't really matter but so I, will, I wouldn't necessarily need to put one here I wouldn't want to link to my Instagram profile rather it just be they just click my profile picture like people do just naturally on Instagram but if you're pushing someone to your website or something like that I mean you'd use a link here but like I said maybe there's a different campaign type that would be better like conversions or something like that but if I type some text right here you'll see that over here on the right it shows up right there and that's where you can add however much text you want to show up in your story now one thing I also think is smart to do with Instagram stories is maybe actually go onto your Instagram or even a dummy Instagram but on your Instagram, build how you want it to look as your ad. So like actually build it and post it to your Instagram story and then save that and then upload that video as your Instagram ads video right here. And the reason that I say that is because go set up your Instagram story ad as an actual Instagram story and use the Instagram story features to put on top of that, the different stickers and stuff like that. So that when people are scrolling through their Instagram story stuff, it has that organic Instagram feel. It feels more like the stories that they've just been going through. Not that it needs to like necessarily blend right in, like you stand out, but give it like be native to the platform, build the story, the ad, the creative in a way that's organic to the platform using its features, its stickers, and stuff like that and then this is something you may or may not want to use or may want to test and just see how it goes but the add interactive poll option I think is really interesting and can potentially work really well for you because if people stop to engage with a poll that's gonna be a really good thing as long as your poll doesn't push them away then if they're gonna stop and spend time on your poll then they're really likely to engage you know get to your profile engage with you as a whole okay and that's pretty much gonna be it so if we scroll down here the tracking section again if you're doing like conversion stuff like that definitely make sure you get tracking set up before we're doing right now just trying to get as much exposure as possible so that people check out the Instagram profile and follow then you don't really need to worry about that you can just come down here click confirm the ad will go into review for a little bit once it's approved 
then the ad will start showing up in people's Instagram stories. And you'll start to see some data come back um, to see like how many people have seen it, all sorts of different data. But you'll start to get some of it uh, hours. Uh, but I also have some patience, like don't expect to see every little thing in real time showing up. Give it some time, give it a day, come back, look at it, see how things have went. And make sure and check out my other Instagram ads videos.